sidetrack, but now it's time for some tech check. I think I come to the barn for it. Maybe. I don't know. We're about to find out. Where you guys come from? California. California. We're number 88 today, boys. Number 88. Look for 88. Look for it. CSP's chasing me down. Just like hunting me down with his little motorcade. So I totally forgot I needed blue jeans for drag racing. Let's see if they have my fit. We'll see. Oh, this may be bad. This may be bad. We are at Camaro Fest day one. We're cruising around in a golf cart, checking out all sorts of epicness. Uh, GM is here. They have all sorts of cars, including 2019s, just about every model. Uh, and uh, what are we gonna cruise around again? Yeah, we'll cruise around again. So, right in front of us, we got the ZL1, a whole host of SS's all modified. Now this one, if you notice, it doesn't have PDR on it. It has the new front sensor. If you have the front sensor on the car, you can't have PDR. What? Uh-oh, car. We're getting run off the road. Uh, and then we got a whole bunch of SS's. We got the Crush, Riverside Blue, Summit White Convertible. Slowly but surely. We got the Red Hot Red Convertible. And this is the new silver, isn't it? I forget the name of it. I um, it's the me something metallic. Steel it's, gray metallic. Yeah, steel gray. Thank you. I appreciate that. So there you go. New colors, all the different models. They have the LTs hiding under the tent, the 2.0, the new one LE. Uh, it's good stuff. And there's tons of vendors here, as always. Fast Tech, Rotofab, Magnuson's here, TSP, you got CSP. Oh, oh we got God. one. <laughs> At least it wasn't me this year. You got Mike Lee, this man. Man, myth, and legend putting on this show. Are you guys parked straight down there? What do you mean straight? Are you on the drag strip? No, not yet. Run your big 12 second. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for after lunch. Since 1871, Continental Camaro Z01. Adams is here with all your detail needs. Z01. Nice car. Roto-Feb, Roto-Feb, Roto-Feb. It's the best intakes, hands down, done. Sold, I'll take 10. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, is this the lead fed Camaro? I've seen that one before. <laughs> it's Somewhere. really Deadpool slow. Camaro? But when he added the Roto-Feb, it got fast. Yo, Lethal, you see the Deadpool Camaro? Yes. Well, where'd you come from? I just, you hit me. Oh. <laughs> you guys ran me over. You had we hit you, so back. now you're part of the team? Yeah. Stan Wen Ali, one of the best photographers out there. What's up? What's going on? So, this is Vendor Row. MBRP's over here, Guitar Mageddon, GPI, Texas Speed. So, Texas Speed just recently came out with a whole host of all their 6th gen stuff. They have their car, rumor has it, they just ran a 127 60 foot. Big. Look at behind the scenes info. Okay, well, I don't know. Apparently he was like looking for you. I'm here. Well, where is he? Where is he, Lauren? Hey, hey, lethal channel. Check that language. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Guitar again. Is that a guitar? Okay. I got Hot Wheels. That's you need, yeah, you need another toy. Yeah. Hammer down. Stay hammered. <laughs> Texas speed! Suck and roll! Is it true there was a 127? 60 foot? You! Is that true? It's not true. Lifted the front end off the ground? But the front end came off? What was it 60 foot? 139? See, it goes from a 39 to okay. a 27. So the lethal Camaro might be able to keep up. Whose court is this? Whose court is this? Here, we'll get an up close look, just because I like this one. <laughs> I like the color combo you got going. It almost reminds me of the Hearst edition a little bit. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's a I monster. I got the, idea, the stripe ideas from a, a SEMA car that uh, 
Gen 5 at SEMA about three years ago, the, the guy built chassis. Yeah. And what was funny is, is I called him because I wanted to steal his paint, a little bit of his paint scheme. And he goes, you know what's funny? He goes, I won for paint at SEMA and I'm a chassis builder. <laughs> You're like, dang it. <laughs> it's a beautiful car, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so we saw quite a few cars. We're gonna go see more cars, but Camaro Fest is very much like last year. Now this is the first day. It's a lighter day because it's Friday. Uh, you know, people have jobs. They gotta do things. Us, us crazy people who have hours and PTO or own our own businesses. We're all here today. Um, but it's really hot. Racing hasn't gone well. Someone went into the wall. Someone blew oil all over the track. Interesting. Last year, like three motors blew. I'm praying to get. It's not as hot this year. So drag cars they're all hanging out cooling off getting ready they already started doing qualifying runs they haven't gone through them all uh, but the plan is to get through all the qualifying runs just tons of amazing cars all built ready to go pray performance if you guys don't know pray this man has had a crazy last what week and a half Blew, blew his airbags on the dyno, had a drive shaft, pushes like shifter crap through the everything. It's the fact that this man is here with a car that just about runs is insanity. So huge shout out to Prey Performance. If you guys need porting done, you go see this guy. Carry on. Here's the track, Beach Bend Raceway. So they moved the show and shine this year to the other side of the vendors, um, but today is not the first show and shine day. Uh, tomorrow's the judging and all that stuff, but there's a ton of cars set up over here. Fifth gens, six gens, Cadillacs, trucks. This is a Camaro show, right? Fourth gen. It's a fourth gen. Question, question. Good, good job. It's Woo! a it's a Camaro in disguise. It's an LS swap. Little did we know, GM secretly placed the 2019 Camaro SS here. Wrong, Matt. It's wrong. Like, honey, Carrie, this is what our backyard could be like. It could just be beautiful trees and canopy awesomeness. And Matt, you can look point. at the low grass. Those are trees. You can tell your kids that's what those and are. And look trees. at behind. I think there's a right here. Let's get up to that edge over there. Don't have any more in 20 years. Keep going, keep going. Does this have reverse? No. A Doyle rules. No. <laughs> there's a river down here. I wonder if we could see it. 
<laughs> Look at, there's a river, boys. Right down there. Ah. Oh. Listen to the quietness. Whoa. What's that shit they yell? Look how just peaceful, tranquil. Honey, let's just put our house right here. And then I'll just sleep out right there all day, every day. The rest of our lives. Amen. Leadfed wants me to do an in-video question. I don't normally do this. Sometimes I say out questions when I have John and Oprah around, and then they answer them. And I'm like, that's not how it works. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be running my car for lunch. See what we can do a quarter mile. I'm not expecting to do anything well. We've not ran the car with the tune that's on it or anything else. And uh, yeah, so I have no idea. But what do you think both 60 foot, quarter mile time, eighth mile time, and miles per hour? Do you know my first run? I'm gonna baby it. So this is for the first run. And then I want you guys to also tell me what do you think my best run for the day will be? Because once I get a feel for the track, I will do a better run. So, 10 5 yes. at 130 at uh, 1 7 in the 60. Probably not. Throwing it out there. Not in this weather. He's crazy. He is just straight up crazy. 1 7 in the 60. I don't think you can hit that. So that, is, that concludes driving around. Oh, yeah, Jeff, I DIY! Whoa, we're gonna roll out of the case. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen these new tail lights, Gen 5 DIY will be offering them. I'm not gonna tell you anything else about them besides being LED. Offers over here selling his wares, the good wares. If you guys are not familiar with LED backup lights, radar harnesses, if you want to like add front camera or add navigation to your MyLink, if you have a fifth gen, he's got more products than I can ramble off in probably an hour. Uh, he's just got everything, caster camber plates, new stuff there, um, billet caps, uh, I'm forgetting all sorts of stuff. RS headlight, like if you don't have an RS but you want the RS headlights and you want to swap it, you could do that. Um, he even sells hammer down motorsports life-size dolls, um, <laughs> beard fully <laughs> trimmed and included. Sleeve delete. And uh, it's a good time. Sleeve. So Gen 5 DIY and another <laughs> little hint just coming up, we're launching a brand new website for Gen 5 DIY. That's gonna make it even easier for you to find products of greatness. And flex fuel sensors. You need that E85 life? We got you covered. I believe I can touch the sky. I believe in the night and day. I believe that the can pray. What? One thing that I don't think anybody ever does, and you can thank Leadfed for this because this was his suggestion. Um, is following a car around the road course. It's really hard to understand the track, how it looks. I think we can get a better view following a car. Now, what better than coming back to the ZL1 1LE I rode in for the first time last year when they came out. So we got Mr. W. We're gonna be trailing behind him and we're gonna take a look at the track, how it's shaped, how it works, how it runs, all that greatness. Mr. Big Arrow, let's do it. today we are officially the slowest car to car art so you guys saw nice sweeping turns a nice little straight some technical bits it's a cool little auto crash track it's not the biggest but it's it's nice it actually looks it looks a lot more technical than last year we did change it up yeah so what what's been the fastest time today so we did 94 seconds <laughs> They did 32, we can get them boys. If we just practice a few times. <laughs> no, it's awesome. So thank you, Mr. W for taking us around the track in your beautiful car. Thank you. Again, just not in it this time. And uh, good times.
made my first run. It was utterly atrocious. I checked my tire pressure earlier. It was at 20 pounds. I came back here, checked one side. It was at 31. The other side was at 21. The fronts were at 45 on the, the side. I think it was sitting in the sun. I don't know. It was terrible. I just let off. I was gliding all over, braking traction all over. Not great. Again, I don't have my real tune on the car to even drag race right now. So, dropped all the pressure. I'm running 15 in the rear now. Got the front set, 35. We'll see what happens. Uh, we have to wait for test and tune again. I went during my unlimited, so I'm pretty sure I did not qualify for anything because I suck. Yay! Let's do this. I'm going to take my drag wing off. I didn't take that off earlier either. So, <sighs> yes. Let's do this. everything set up we got our booth here we are down at Camaro Fest this is the final day show and shine's happening today final racing they did final qualifying this morning got my car lined up the run actually felt really good got a little bit of tire slip got down to the end of the track mile power was up time was down but it wasn't near what it should be so again I am running a street tune it's not dialed in for drag racing but 10-4 134 we'll see if it's enough to let me go again or compete but there's no way I'm gonna be competing with the big boys they're running sevens and eights and I just I'm that's not gonna happen so. A strip down car, Magnuson, full roll cage. They're full race ready. And he got me just by a hair. He he was off the line before me. Um, I'm not used to pro tree. That, I'm not using that as an excuse. You know, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not very good at launching off the line. My reaction time sucks in race scenarios. Uh, if you look at my hand, <laughs> adrenaline's still shaking. Uh, but and wind's blowing my tent in my face. But it was a good race. I ended up doing a 10-3-7. He did a 10 Two nine zero, something like that. I don't even know. All of our numbers were really close off the get go. Um, overall, it was my best run for the day. Actually, no, it wasn't. Ten three four was my best. Um, but it's really hot. Like, how hot is it outside? Ninety six. Da is over three thousand. It's not expecting my car to be performing crazy numbers. I never did, but. It was fun, and I <laughs> like the adrenaline is just crazy. It's really fun to play, um, be a part of this, and, and play the game of drag racing. But just lucky the car performed as it should, really good. Keep in mind, I do have a street tune on it. It is not set up for drag racing right now. Um, the goal was just to come out, run, and have fun. And the fact that I could even be that close or competitive made me, you know, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of you, Lethal. Right? Right? Yeah. It was good.
still super hot and humid. It is what it is. Welcome to Kentucky in the summer. Um, it's just awesome. So, yeah. Um, we'll have some final thoughts and we'll close out this video, but outside of that, Camaro Fest 8 continues. What a journey, guys. Camaro Fest was awesome. Sorry I didn't close this video out there. It was just super hot the second day and it was 100 degrees, 100% 100 humidity. I just, I was not in video shape. I don't even know. But we made the trek back all the way from Kentucky. We stopped in Houston at Fast Tech Performance and then sh kicked it straight back to California. Uh, what a time. Camaro Fest 8, well worth the trip out there. So many awesome people that we got to see. Um, so many people came to the tent just to say hi, shake my hand, picked up a shirt. Thank you for the support. I 100% appreciate it. Thank you for watching these videos. Thanks for following me on Instagram or here on YouTube, etc. Um, it was just awesome. The truck was coated in nastiness. We went through a total of 11 rainstorms there and back. Um, <laughs> poor lethal truck, but I got her detailed the other day. She's back to new, um, good to go. And the lethal Camaro is still completely filthy dirty. Um, and I got to remedy that. So there you have it, Camaro Fest 8. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, post them down below. As always, love you all. Thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road. So if you guys ever wondered what it takes to have a guitar get in here. Give me some music. Sorry, you're not giving me any music. Hopefully it matches up to my dancing beat. Uh, For your own racer spot. I have a spare. I bought two on accident. My racing spot came with my vendor. How? Mine didn't. Yeah, it does. All vendor positions come with one drag race spot. Oh, one. One. And it was at that moment that Guitar Mageddon realized he totally messed up. I'm at the detail center because my truck, you guys know my truck's disgusting from the ride out here. Uh, it needs to be clean, so I'm having these awesome detailers. What's the name of your company? Bitchin Camaro Mobile Detailing. Well, that's the name right there, Bitchin Camaro Mobile Detailing. <laughs> Winning. It's not a Camaro that they're detailing, but they're hooking it up. They're getting the truck all dialed in. I dialed the car in yesterday. It's got the car cover on it right now. Freedom Fed, you heard it here first. Yeah, Freedom Fed, that's my next name. <laughs> Okay, second run. I was like a big baby. I swear I felt my car do something. It probably did nothing. Um, I was like 70, 80% throttle. Still ran a 10.6. Got a 1.560 foot. Not completely atrocious, but I, the car's got so much more. So I'm gonna try the right lane this time. I, I don't know. I, I'm just messing up all over here. I had a good burnout though. I, I could take that away. Um, but outside of that, uh, we're dropping the tire pressure a little bit more in hopes to get better traction. I think with the tune I have right now, the best 60 foot I'm gonna get is maybe a one, a low one five. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Mustang. 